Hello guys and welcome back to another new world video. Today's video I want to talk about the builds for first star leveling or leveling in general. What I would recommend and what I would think is the best and uh, yeah. So most likely most of the people will want to use a hatchet. Just great with uh, for Zerk you have movement speed, you have regen, you're interruptible and you fight that, you also have rent, extra damage and uh, fortify, so it's really really strong for PV in general but also for leveling because you really want this movement speed, like the movement speed weapons the most popular I guess. So you can pair the hatchet with the bow, this is the nice skill tree for the bow for like PvE but uh, you don't really have to use it if you don't want to that much, but what you really want is the haste you get from these two passives. Otherwise, you can get the Greatsword. This is a nice build with some more utility. From the Roaring Rapture, you get Fortify. You use your debuffs and uh, play, apply Weakan, so basically even more Fortify. This is mostly if you want to to like bigger pools, like three, four, five mobs. If not, you and you want more DPS and a bit more mobility, you can instead of rolling rapture, take uh, rel relent relentless rush with this and these passives. The what else? What else? Uh, so yeah, hatchet, grace ward, bow. You can combine these three in whichever way you want. Or use all three of them. You can just use hatchet, great sword, and uh, when you have to travel for longer distances, you just put your bow in with these two passives and uh, have the extra movement. Um, life stuff maybe also will be popular if you want to play as a healer or uh, level having no troubles with uh, potions and stuff. This is a very solid uh, single target build for healer. If you want to be full AoE, I mean these two abilities are AoE, but if you want to be full AoE and don't have Divine Embrace, you can swap that with uh, Beacon. You can pair the Life Staff either with a Hatchet, but you will need an uh, Amber Gem. And you we go with full focus, or you can go with the Void Gauntlet, which will be decent as well. The only issue is that the damage might be lower, and the, you will be staggered by the mobs because you don't have grit at all. Um, spear is mostly single targets and like trending and debuffs. Uh, doesn't have any like extra mobility, but this is a nice skill tree for it. You can pair this with uh, either bow or hatchet, this kills bolt, strength, and dex. What else? Great axe if you want to like do a bit more PvP as well. You can take. Uh, this build with reap and here if you want extra damage you can go for maelstrom if not you can go for gravity well and since you have one extra point you can take uh, crowded protection as well and if you want to play as a tank this is a very strong and i think this is what most tanks play this is for tanking compare this with the hatchet well and did I miss anything oh the warhammer the warhammer is also nice mainly first 20 levels uh, and last 20 levels it can be helpful but definitely you can just level 1 to 60 with just a hatchet and that's it it depends what your what your goals are These builds are mostly for PvE, they're not that good in PvP, but uh, for low level PvP, you should be fine. 
gonna get flags for the extra experience and stuff. So yeah, this is it pretty much. I would say I would recommend you guys going for Hatchet plus whatever you like. I'm not gonna lie. Just uh, Hatchet is the king. Good luck uh, in your adventures and uh, have a smooth leveling. He's improved a lot and welcome back to New World if you are returning and uh, tomorrow I will also have drops on my stream. If you wanna come by. Anyways guys, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.